And joining me here today is? I'm Ernest. I'm the program manager in Microsoft, working with the rankings on Conquer Life and Uncut. Fantastic. Right. You're going to show us some, uh, some business today, right? Yep. Here we have like a multiplayer live game going on. On here, eight kiosks. All these people are playing against each other right now. So, and there are two teams that you can select in this build. And I'm playing as the squirrel. And the other people are playing as the evil teddies. And my job, of course, is to like blow them up. And so, it's about, Life and Uncut is going to be a very much team multiplayer focused title. And here, we are going to show you some of like the different weapons that I can actually use. What I just walked out of is the weapon room that has like all, all type of different weapons I can use. But the key two thing that I see is, for example, what I'm holding here is a sniper. Mm -hmm. And if I just push it down, I can just do like normal sniping activities, but I can't find anyone. In Conquer Life and Uncut, one of the key things is this upgrade system. So if I walk through the ball, I gain body armor, and now my weapons are upgraded. So if I, wait, well, I stand back a bit. If I now switch over to the sniper again and press X, I can see everyone, even if they are behind walls. So no campus allowed in this game. <laughs> so you will actually be, no matter where you hide, we will be able to find them. So now I know where they are. I can try to kick some butt and see whether, oh, there's a evil tennis right there. Right. Oh, oh, I got shot. What's the deal? Anyway, see whether I can jump back in. So, anyway, here we have, why do I try to get a bazooka and get a knife this time? So as you can see, normally the knife is not a very useful weapon at all. But, but these guys are all noobs, so you totally just walk up and shank them, right? <laughs> I can try, but now I've upgraded my knife, I can totally just walk up and kill him. Oh, but they are, all, they are not around at the moment. So see, now my, I, instead of just a normal knife, it becomes a combat knife that I can actually just throw. So it becomes a throw, throw combat knife, and my bazooka, actually now instead of just a normal rocket launcher, it become a guided missile that I can just fly and actually call, oh, this? Okay, right. And now I know where they are. I can try to get them like this. Oh, yep. So there will be all this stuffing left for that teddies right there. Oh, there's another guy there. See what I can get him. Oh, there's a squirrel. Sorry, friendly fire. <laughs> right. And see when I shoot a knife as well. So. This game, there are going to be seven totally different multiplayer games for, uh, for, the, for the multiplayer side of things. And also, we are going to include the original, update, but A64 version of um, Bad Fur Day, but totally updated with Xbox graphics and 5.1 surround sound. And oh, I just got sniped by that guy. Are you hit? Yeah, <laughs> my head, where's my head? Anyway, but as you can see, we are, this game is extremely funny, just like the original game. So to us, that is very important. So the over-the-top humor and what you can do is definitely something that we want to preserve. So that's, that's what Conquer is about. So as you can see, there's a helicopter there. I can actually try to, do the, uh, try to jump into a helicopter. Absolutely. So that's what I'm going to do next. So, oh, there's a sniper up there, but he's my friend. Oh, he got my key. Right, you need a key to jump on the helicopter, but looks like he's going to do it. So I just like, but if, I, if you have the key, you can actually jump into a helicopter. As you can see, the door open, he go in, and he, he flies off. And now I can try to support him from the ground. Oh, like that guy. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not doing too well today. Fine. Switch gun. Three grenades. That's it. That's not bad at all. So I can switch back to my sniper and try to light fire at other people too. Right. Does the, does the enemy team have another helicopter? The enemy team has a helicopter also. So and in this game is helicopter. In other in another game it will be a tank actually. So there are going to be different um, vehicles feature in the game as well. So. Can you go steal your enemy's tank or helicopter? No, but you can steal their key. Oh, cool. Which means that they cannot use their helicopter. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, not very good at like playing and talking at the same time. Anyway, let's try this. Oh, yes, more victims. 
Oh, someone already. Oh, someone already is flowering at them. Good. How many different levels do you guys have uh, for a multiplayer fun like this? Yeah, we will have at least seven different maps that we are planning to use. Oh, that is not good. So he has a close range weapon, and I don't. And you see, he actually is his special ability for the knife is he can turn to uh, invisible. So that's what he was doing to sneak up on me. So every single weapon after you upgrade gives you a different special ability, which is very useful. So I can actually do the same thing as well here. Let's see if that key's there real quick before we go. All right. See, hopefully the keys is back, so I can actually jump. All oh, right, the helicopter is thrown away. So why do I? I can try to sneak to the base and steal the key at least to show you what that looks like. And I'm the helicopter only responds after it gets blown up. Uh, yeah. It basically, or either the other guy can jump off, especially if he has a parachute. He can jump off and land safely with a parachute, and the helicopter will continue to fly. Oops. You better be careful there. You might not make it over there. Uh, he has. Okay. Uh oh. Nice a boozer, you, you, you make this game though. Yeah, but <laughs> someone turned the control to inverted, oh. which is why I'm having May. Oh, he's using a stun grenade. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Let's see what I can just jump in. Oh, I was trying to sneak past him. You almost made it. Oh, no, you're still going. And I just turned invisible as well because I have the knife upgrade. Oh, oh! They already flew off of the helicopter, so I may not have the key up there. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Is uh, it? If I shoot the parachute, though. So if I jump from high places, I can land safely with like opening a parachute. That's and awesome. Oh, this guy! Right. <laughs> but as you can, it's actually fairly chaotic because you are playing with real life people. It's not like just render. We will support. Uh, but when you play at home, if you don't have, if you don't lock onto live, we will support like offline play also. How many people are you guys uh, talking? We are, we are planning to support up to 16 players That's on live at the same time with voice chat and everything. Fantastic. So, That's yeah. awesome. All right. It looks super good. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You very much. Appreciate it.